Spider zombies. Oh, they got two ferals. This is going to be a death. I don't have a gun on me. Great. This might end my video prematurely. Oh, and I and I get to hit. Oh. Welcome back, everyone. This is your man, the Beard King, bringing you another episode of Seven Days to Die Alpha 17.1. In the last video, I uh, raided the pawn shop across the street. Today, I think we're going to go and do a little bit more raiding. I haven't decided which one, but we have several choices. Uh, I'd really wish I could find a working stiff because I like iron tools, but I haven't found one yet. Uh, last night, I did do some resource grinding, I, and I started to seal off my home base as well as uh, working on a little maze design for a horde night. I probably won't use it on the first horde night. I'm not sure I can get the whole thing done by then, but it'll be a work in progress. Um, but between now and, and seven days, I'm going to try and get my base secured enough for the first horde night. So I came across the maze idea from a couple other YouTubers and really liked what I saw them working on. and. I uh, thought it was a good idea, so without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, uh, as I mentioned last night, I got some resources and worked on sealing off my base a little bit. Uh, if I pan over here, this is the pawn shop that we raided. It turned out to be pretty good. Um, here's the uh, little maze design that I am starting to work on. I'm going to build kind of a skywalk over there. And I think I'm going to flesh out the maze out there somewhere. I'm just going to try to make it really long, straight pathways. <clears throat> um, yeah, who knows? We'll see if it works. If it doesn't, just build a new one. I also built this platform out front so that I can get up to my base easier. And made it so that I can come to this spot, which has a little bit better hit points. Um, you know, Horde Knight comes. I can pull these out. Nothing, well... A spider zombie can probably jump it, but you know we'll deal with that if it happens. Um, I put down my land claim block, and there's my forge. I did I did build my forge? I've got it cranking. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. I've been making some forged iron, you know, just to keep up with my tools. And <clears throat> I did get an iron pickaxe. I think I picked that up while I was out in the desert uh, the other night. For the other episode, and I also came across an iron shovel. I don't remember where I looted that from, but uh, that's that stuff. I still have this illness, and I'm at five hours now. I don't know what's going on. It's bugging me. It doesn't seem to be affecting anything, but it is, you know, I just don't like seeing this guy. It makes me feel sick. I am sick, um, but well, what are we gonna do? So, I picked up some levels while I was grinding. Uh, I killed a couple of zombies while I was out in the desert, you know, picking up aloe and, and yucca. So, I'm level 13 now, and we have two points to spend. <clears throat> so, as you all know, my goal is to get my iron tools, but we can't get that until I'm level 20, and I need in intellect level 5. That's going to take two points. Uh, I have enough leveling to go between now and then before I uh, would have to start saving points. So I could put something into physician so I could at least make some bandages. I don't necessarily have a big yucca or a aloe vera crop going right now, so this might not be the best. Um, I still don't put stuff in here for a while. I'm not going to add another hidden strike. Fortitude's great. Allows you to hit things a little bit harder. I have this. The healing factor is here. I'm tired of eating, you know, four or five bacon and eggs every day just to keep myself okay. But, you know, hopefully I can find some animals. I'd like to find the farm or the barn where the pigs are, but I haven't come across that yet. Strength. Uh, I did put a point in mother load last time. That seems to be working out pretty great. 
Pack meal, I think it just goes without saying. Let's get some pack meal. And I am at the point where I'm harvesting a lot. So, I don't know. Let me think about these um, while I get off the screen. Get something a little bit more interesting going. Uh, I'm kind of loaded out to go loot. Uh, I have some food. I have some water. I have my, you know, this. I, don't, I guess I don't really need my shovel uh, necessarily. So, I'll just ch toss that in there. And I suppose I should put a band-aid down here, knowing me. I do have one potato to go plant. <laughs> so this is kind of a two-fold thing, a skywalk to get over there, and I just built a little platform here to get up. Um I can jump this far, you yeah. know. Works. So let me go plant this potato really quick. I do have stuff I can harvest, but I like harvesting them all at the same time. It's kind of one of my things. So, as far as looting goes, we have this whole POI right here, Shaka Messiah, all the way to Cup of Joe's and a warehouse. We have another pawn shop over here. Uh, if this is the one I'm thinking of, it might have a bear in there. Not 100% sure. I know that there's a... <clears throat> Excuse me, a poppin' pills down there. Uh, and I can't really remember what's around the corner. Let's take a look. Oh, it's another shotgun messiah. It's just a single story, so let's do this one. Um, that should be pretty exciting. Three, four, there's quite a few. I suppose they can go and open up the doors for me while I hack away on this stuff out here. Oh no! Where'd that guy come from? came around from the side. Can I make it? Oh yeah. Alright, come on out. It's a nice day. This guys have been sleeping all night. Kind of fiddled around with my recording software again. Hey, about that. So you know, I'm trying to drop out background noise. Uh, tried to increase the sound of my voice a little bit, the volume of my voice. It seemed kind of low to me when I was playing it back on my channels. Um, hey, you know what I have next door? I have that. I have that little skill point thing for looting. Oh, guess what? I'm at 83%. I guess I'm totally dehydrated now. I mean, water, water's not a big deal. I know, I know where to find my water now, but... Gosh, always having to eat constantly. Oh, come on. Not too good today, gang. Our friends? No. Alright, so let's get in here. We're gonna clear everything out. 
I'm going to clear all the zombies out, and then I'll go run back to the base real quick and grab my uh, little looting perk. And then we'll come back and loot. I, I'm, you know, I'm setting my timer for 20 minutes. I did that on my last video. And, and I went over a little bit. That was fine. I think if I go over, it gives me a little bit of time to edit out some of the stuff. But if we have some time, it, it is day four. And the trader restocked today. So we might have some more good stuff in here. Boy, where are they coming from? Level. I'll take it. I saw you sneaking in, pal. What? What, did they come through the wall? Everybody decided to go into the bathroom and... Oh yeah, we also have an airdrop. Forgot about that. I did have my settings to mark the airdrop, so I just... So, yeah, everybody was... Oh, yeah, they did come through. Hey, look, there's a bridge. <laughs> oh, wow, this is open. Fair enough. Everybody upstairs. <laughs> Gonna make a surprise visit. <laughs> nope. I make it. Stop breaking my leg. Let's see. I can. Alright, I'm gonna run back here real quick, grab that perk for looting, and we'll head back over there and loot that place. Yeah, there it is. Grants you one level of this perk, and just in case you're wondering, what is the perk? Whatever it is. Lucky looter. One perk, 50 to loot bonus, looting's 10 times fat, 10% faster, and very treasure. So, let's use it. I'll read that. Kill some infected zombies, alright. Looks like it's over there somewhere. Quite a bit faster on the loot. That's pretty cool. What's that? Other load? I'll be able to use that later. Probably use that at night when I go out and grind out my resources. Here. Like I said, I'm really looking for an iron fire axe. Make my day. Water purifier. That's cool. So you can put that in your helmet. Hey, you put that water purifier in your helmet and anything you drink will be purified, so I don't know that you have to cook your cook your water, boil your water. Never look at that. For shotgun. Let's say that that lucky looter Perk was good. Really? Let's be outside. Come in here. Handgun? Handgun. 
dirty toilet water. We got that one. Okay, well, save. Oh yeah, I remember. Oh. Good timing. We have here. That works. Okay. still trying to come in. I am slow, people. And pretty good loot. But okay. Let's loot that. Take that. Might be pretty good on a shotgun. Wow. Uh, are full, people. Totally. Totally. Full and slow. Is that it though? I think that was it. Good. Alright. Well, let's head on back, drop this stuff off. I'll try to do a quick sort. I am running. I have one more place here to go loot with you guys. You can see it on film here. Uh, I banged on this a while. There it is. It's open. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, well, I have a little inventory space, this is a loot video, I haven't heard my dinger go off, let's, let's do some more looting, I'll have that perk active, or, uh, you know what, you know what we'll do? <coughs> Let's go find that airdrop. And there are some dogs in there. Oh, there, there is my timer. All right, that was 20 minutes. Let's see, that airdrop's not too far. Let's make a run for it. We'll loot it. Maybe we'll find a working stiff while we're out here. I love these construction areas. A lot of good resources here. A lot of them. For you newer players, you can come over here and bang on these, and they give you a lot of stones. Uh, I don't have my shovel on me, but you can shovel this so it'll give you concrete. And the other dark 
well, light blue blocks. I don't see any out here. Uh, if you shovel on those, they'll give you cobblestone. Now that guy's all fired up at the grass. Well. Interesting building right there. That is. Yeah, food food is going to become a problem for me pretty soon here. I don't have very much bacon and eggs left, and I am not seeing animals. I guess that is what it is. You know, last night while I was grinding... Wow, look at that chainsaw. Cool. Um, when I was grinding last night, I had two other bags drop on me, loot bags, so... That seems to be a bit more than I recall. Previous versions. So maybe they adjusted, maybe the fun pimps adjusted that a bit, I don't know. What's this guy doing? Hanging out behind the rock? <laughs> Taking a dirt nap now. I see it, it's right there. But this guy's going down first. It's a food drop. I'll take it. Scrap it. Let's eat some cat food. Pretty overloaded on food, I guess. I shouldn't shouldn't have done that. I don't need to eat right now. These logs, for newer players, you hack them up, they'll drop. Sometimes they'll drop honey. That one did not. I know those don't give you very much wood, but I always smash them because they look like zombies from afar to me. Guy's got a pretty decent beard. Wish we could be friends. But we won't be. A lot of good resources out here. A lot of, a lot of good nodes. Take a close drive by over here. One big home. One big POI. Hey, corn. What do we have here? Oh, yeah. It's on. More potatoes. Yeah. This is great. I'm glad I took a little side mission here. Red corn, whatever, take it. We're gonna take it all. Doesn't look like anybody's out here taking care of it themselves, so. Shame to see it go to waste. Again, this is not my favorite biome. Oh, I 
I can hear a vulture. Yeah, buddy. Somebody's smacking on the other side of this wall. Oh, skipping right past her. We all know about her. Pawn shop here, pawn shop there, pawn shop across the street. Two vultures. Called in some friends. Wonder if we've got any bombs over here. <laughs> Landmines. Well, I do have some friends. Alright, what are you guys doing? They will follow you. Alright, well, it's 1500 hours. Uh, the waypoint is 512 meters away. Let's go out there. Not sure if this little skyway is high enough for me, but um, here's the start of it. So I'm going to leave that open and we're going to put traps in here. And we're going to put barbed wire on because it slows them down nicely. And we'll just keep leading them around. This will be, I don't know, maybe four squares high. And I'll have iron bars across the top so I can just walk over them and shoot them in the head. I think it should work. I've seen it work. You know, I've got one of these missions before and I thought... You know, you can clear, you can get missions from the trader where he tells you to go clear out the infected, and it usually takes you to a building. Uh, I got one in one of my last saves, one of my last gameplays on a different version, different build, yeah. And it's just an area. You know, go to an area. Click on the thing. Click on the icon and it's gonna spawn in some some infected. So let's do it. Oh, they got ferals? Kid kidding me? Oh man, not a great choice. Spider zombies. Oh, they got two ferals. This is gonna be a death. I don't have a gun on me. might end my video prematurely. Oh, and I and I get to hit. Oh. Not good, not good, not good. And guess what? There's another one. feral at. He's around here. Still a disturbed tourist. I got the I got the white. There's a I'm supposed to find a screamer. I saw him. Huh. I saw two ferals. There's another one up here somewhere. Kill a tourist. Kill a burn victim. I don't see any burn victims. Is this is this happening because I ran too far out of the area? Is, is that why I'm not seeing these people anymore? Or is it just in general? Like, can I find these people anywhere? Yeah. 
so in my other save, my other, my other gameplay, they spawned in, you know, the mission was go kill a bunch of nurses. And that's what happened. They spawned in a bunch of nurses. I killed them. I turned them all in. Uh, I turned the quest in as a traitor. Got my reward. It's perfect. But... Now it seems as though... Uh, I don't see the, the tourist. Oh, yes, sir. Now I'm telling you, these hogs—they give me trouble sometimes, especially when I miss. Thank you. I really needed that. Alright, well, I'm not gonna hang around out here. Okay, I haven't completed that special mission, but I made it all the way back to my base here. Um, I dropped off everything and kind of resorted a lot of stuff. The, so that I can make a run out to the trader before nighttime. Um, I brought a couple more bows, some rifles, some pistols, uh, I have a shotgun, and I'm going to sell one of my SMGs, as well as two of these, uh, I don't know what to call these, perk, temp perk things, I don't know, documents, who knows, there's probably a name for them. But I did pick up some levels, I think you guys saw quite a bit of it. And so I wanted to spend some points. I keep coming back here because, you know it, I want those tools. And I know I can't get them until I'm level 20. But I do need intellect level 5. So I'm just going to get myself there. I'm done with it. Okay. Since this is my second time running to the trader to sell some stuff, I, I never do this. But it seems to make sense when I see other people do it. Build up their better barter skill. They'll make a little bit more money when they sell stuff, so I'm going to spend my point there. Alright, let's get moving. Okay, and here we are, back at the trader. Probably head up here and sell my stuff. It's day four, so the inventory Each should have resupplied. See if maybe he has a fire axe. I'd love to get one. And then I'll probably end this video uh, after a trade run, after I'm done here. So let's see what he's got. That's it. Peace be with you, my friend. Yeah, peace be with you as well. All right, gang, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, again, I appreciate you watching, taking time to watch my video. I'm trying to bring some better content to you instead of just, you know, all the yapping around. Killing some zombies and whatnot, and doing some raiding. Uh, but if you're starting to find these videos interesting, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Really will help me out. And uh, if you have any tips or tricks or whatever, comments, feel free to leave them below. So until next time, uh, have a great evening.